Dallas, Brown and Long to get their first shift tonight. This line has actually been pretty decent over the last few weeks. Travis Brown stepping up as a forward. Yeah, he was about three goals in about five or six games, so he's going to the dirty areas on the rink. You know, he's going right into the crease and he's, he's banging home rebounds, so good on him. It's not easy to always transition from, from D to forward, but we've just got a surplus of D men at the minute, so that's dangerous. Gets away from 1-0. A dangerous pass out front, a turnover by Belfast. And Beskarawani. That was, that was very, very poor defensively from the Giants. I'm not sure who that was. I, I don't want to have, have a go at anyone, but I feel like you know that could have been that could have been handled a lot easier. I mean, there's just a little misplay there from Jeff Bomb. That can happen. It's going to get cycled down low. Longer doesn't go to. He does go, but you know this D-man here doesn't spot it. I think, it's, I think it's Josh Roach, unfortunately. He doesn't know that Roth's coming in behind him. Roth has an easy goal, and you know that's best goes what is that his first or second shot, and not a good way to start the night. And the Blazers will be happy with that. Kirk up trying to push that back up the wall again. Good speed from Oliver Cooper out. Cooper now battling hard as comes off the back of the net and to the top again. Looks to feed it inside. A cross check on the back of McLeod goes unpunished. Johnny Curran exits his own, but that's a cutoff. There's a chance here for a breakaway. Stepping in is Will Cullen. Forehand, backhand, top corner. Great read by Will Cullen, an unassisted goal. And the Giants are back to 1-1. Yeah, just a poor read by Johnny Curran there. He, he thinks he's, he's got a man in the middle. Gives it right up to uh, Will Cullen, who's quite an offensive D-man, comes in. Great patience, goes to the backhand. You see it here, he's got all the time in the world. There's nobody near him. He's going to sell the shot here. You just see the little. There's no, nope, not going to shoot. Backhand shelf. Nice goal. Great finish by Will Cullen. That's his third goal of the season. And a 17th overall for the Belfast Giants. We're back to 1 1. That's going to be an unassisted goal. Good aggressive play there from Matty McLeod. All right, that's chipped back into the Giants zone. Bomb spins away. Looking to feed that up the wall, it's intercepted by Christo. He gets it back to the point and goes D to D. One pass again for Christo. Christo with a shot, what a finish. Top corner, beats Best Irwani over yeah, the glove. And, and Best was not going to be happy with it. I mean, I, I, I can see the lane from here and I feel like he's just playing a little bit too deep in his net there. I mean, I'll, I'll give him the benefit of the doubt, but... 9.43 on the clock. Let's see if there's a screen or, I mean, there's maybe a... A little bit of a flash screen, but I, I still, I still think Besco, the Besco we know usually has that. Yeah, the the play, as I said, straight through the scene. I believe it might have been Roth that got the pass from the far side through, and Danny Cristo sends a top corner for his 14th of the year. To Besco, it's a little spin, has his head up, takes a shot, good save by Kent. Again, good one. Back to the top for Friend, and that's just kept in. David Goodman to the back door. Chance, what a goal! Well, Colin, two goals tonight, but that was absolutely pinpoint passing, and that's exactly what we're looking to see. Yeah, just that's been the difference, you know, with tape to tape. You hear the passing snapping off the sticks. Well, Colin, you know, he's hot tonight. It comes all the way over to him. That's not an easy shot to go short side the goalie like this. Friend to Goodman. Goobin heads up, he actually gives the goalie the eyes and that pass across to Will Cullen, one time effort and it's 2-2. Two -two. Nazarian goes cross ice now, a mistake by Clements, little dipsy doodle there, good defensive play by Carter Allen though. Now the Blaze have a chance to drive forward. Here's a chance for a three on two at the back door. Clements with the shot. Beskarwani with the save. And here comes Spears. Blake Spears. The Nazarian back down again for Spears. Oh, what a shot! What a goal from Blake Spears. Top corner. And it's 3 2 Belfast for their first lead of the night. Blake Spears comes in on the off angle and just goes absolute short side cheddar. It is a goal. Watch this, this is fantastic. You'll not see a better play tonight. This Aaron's just going to hand it off to him. Goaltender's going to go down. Still doesn't get it. What a goal. What a finish for Blake Spears. That's his fourth goal for the Belfast Giants. He was man of the match last night. That's a great pickup by Steve Thornton and Adam Keith. Face off one by the Blaze. 
Oh, a nice little move by Norwich. Norwich is a man stepping in, takes a shot, tipped in front, it's 3-3. A really quick power play. McNulty gets the final touch. What was I saying? They don't have a very good power play, and you know, tic tac toe, go. Three for three. Yeah. High scoring event so far here in the SSC. It all started from like the lovely little again, move yeah. there at the blue line. Yeah, I mean, they're not got the final touch of the eagle I mean, back guy, a bit there. McNulty's all alone in front of the net there. Yeah. I mean, what, what do you want best going to do with that one, you know? And they're going to change him. Jackson Whistle's coming in. Yep, they are indeed. Bobby Mack goes to the point. Spears steps in. He scored one beauty so far tonight. Behind the back paper. McLeod, it bounces free. It's caught between the legs of the defenseman and manages to scoot free into the corner. McLeod takes it off the skate and turns it over. There's a shot again. Tipped in front. Lifts over the top of the net. Jack Hopkins stepping in off the wall. There's a big opportunity. Sato trying to use his speed, but that's cut out for him by Blake Thompson. The blaze again. Get it in deep through Hopkins. Friend. To the right side for Colin. Would have put him in a difficult spot, but he let that one reek through. That's helped into the zone off the stick of Cooper. And we're down to nearly four minutes to go in the second. There's a turnover. A glorious chance for Belfast. And it's put home. What a finish. You talk about mistakes. Put on a plate for Bobby McIntyre. That's an unassisted goal. And Giants have a 4-3 lead. I want to see where this one went in, because it was a funny sort of angle. I thought the goalie should probably have this angle covered off. You're going to see it here. It's just a loose play from Clements. Stool. And then here's the patience. Clements, is, you know, he's swimming on the ground. And five five hole. hole. I was going to say, he didn't have much angle apart from five hole. 36-01. Bobby McIntyre finishes it off for a seventh goal of the season. And Belfast with a 4-3 lead. Ian Brown, bad one to keep it in the zone. Good stick. By Travis Brown, round behind. Bounces out front. There's a chance that it's a great save. And on a second occasion, and a third save by Nolan Kent. A glorious opportunity there for Kohei Sato. But Kent coming up huge for the Blaze. Yeah, that first save was fantastic. A real reactionary save. And then he does a good job making the, the two follow-up saves. Norris again round behind for Sato it bounces over his stick Belfast manages to get deep Sato forehand backhand what a save from the goaltender and the puck's free there there's going to be a penalty on the play Vitas Lucas Savicius with the arm straight up in the air I couldn't see the puck free from here so they get it back to the point Nourish now Walks the line, a little dish across to Cristo. Cristo, back to Norris, tipped in front and it just goes wide. Lovely little play there by Oliver Cooper. Cooper through the middle, Ben Lake. Lake splits the defence, tries to drive in, there's going to be a penalty, but it's a goal! Short-handed effort from Ben Lake. What a heads-up play from the corner. It was on a delayed call. And Belfast take an extended lead, 5-3. Fantastic from Ben Lake. You know, he's going to get a little hook on the play here, and that's what the delayed calls for. But he shows his composure, and he just goes round. It's actually a slash more than a hook. It's a slash across the hands. The goalie goes for the poke check. Laker sees it coming, goes round him. Brilliant goal. Short handed for the Giants. Ben Lake with the 16th marker of the season. And another assist goes to Jacob Friend. That's four points this weekend from Friend. Giants in the front. point, yeah. yeah for a penalty on that one. They feel like the man was taken down. Nourish, Cristo, back to the captain. Nourish again. They're moving around the outside. Nourish, he's got a bit of a cannon for a shot. There's off the current back to Nourish. Nourish with a shot, rebound. Picked up by Cristo. Cristo through the slot. Jackson Whistle, what a save by Jackson Whistle. Fantastic effort. Coming in in relief for Tyler Beskarawani. Oh, that's a fantastic glove save, Dicko, you'd know more about that. Yeah, look, everyone gets drawn to the puck, it comes the whole way through. He's got the glove there nice and early, Jackson Whistle takes away that angle, makes a fantastic save. Five on three, all the time in the world to find that pass as well. 
Giants fans really getting into it now. Jager Friend hit hard in the corner. Thanks to go. Step the chance right front. Jackson Whistle again gets in there, covers it up. He's been solid a little bit of afters. And Bobby McIntyre takes a cross check to the face. And both players are being taken to the box. Cristo blocked in front. Roth with the shot. That goes wide. Throwing back out front again to the crease. Roth winds up, fakes the shot. Creates a bit of space for himself and finds a, an option down low. Norris again to Cristo. Cristo. Tries to feed it through, Belfast get a hold of it and send it the length of the ice. That has been an amazing penalty kill from those four players tonight. They have, and they, they, they had to get off the ice there. They retired and they've done a fantastic job killing off, what, a minute and a half here. There's not really enough time left for the, for the Blazers. This game is over, even if they get one. Thompson to the outside for Christo now. Christo sends it round the wall. Josh Roach closes the gap down on Kirkup. Jeff Baum's going to tie it up behind the net as the seconds tick away here. They're trying to dig it out. The fans are on their feet. The Belfast Giants have a four-point weekend, and the penalty killers tonight have been absolutely exceptional. They kill off a five-on-three, they kill off a six-on-four, and they win the game tonight, five-three.